No pulp webisode time. John Dales, Jacob Morris, and John, it's NFL draft time. And that's big. We're the right duo. Why? Because, well, John, you're a uh, part owner of the Green Bay Packers. I certainly am an NFL owner. Look, I'm not going to tip any picks. That far I'm going. I'm not going to say in advance of the draft what I'm thinking. Are you feeling good about Thursday? I'm feeling excellent about Thursday. All right. Well, without further ado, let's take a look at a couple of guys maybe you and the Green Bay Packers might be thinking about. It's a, it's a draft full of talent coming up. John, when you look at the draft board, when you look at that big board up on the screen, who do you see who stands out? Look at the size of that board. It's absolutely huge. Let me start out with Iki Ikwanu. Look, I saw this guy play in person. He's an absolute beast. Maybe the best run blocker that I've seen at the collegiate level in the last five years. I've got him as my number one player. I know we got Hutchinson above him here, but I think that he's a beast. What I see when I look up there is Trayvon Walker. This is the NFL draft of defensive ends, really of defensive linemen. But how about defensive ends? Trayvon Walker, actually the odds on favor to go number one now. He's skyrocketed up boards lately. He's a guy to watch. He's been impressive for Georgia. He'll be fun to watch in the NFL. He certainly will. My Packers could always use somebody like that. I don't think he's going to drop all the way down to us in the late 20s. But somebody who was rumored to maybe be a little bit further down, now is shooting right up those big boards, is Gary. Wilson as well. This guy, an All-American with the Buckeyes, and he played with another All-American when Chris Olave. We saw what he can do at the collegiate level, and now we're going to see what he's going to be able to do at the pro level. Well, Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave were really a dynamic duo, maybe a 1A, 1B, but you said it. Garrett Wilson's really the number one guy for that. It's been interesting to see really the wide receiver conversation. Drake London, another guy that's flying up the board as well. Wide receivers at a premium in this draft. They certainly will be. I'm just worried about will those guys fall down to my Packers in late in the 20s? I don't know but there certainly are a lot of good players. You mentioned Drake London, Chris Olave, Jamison Williams even too. A lot of guys to look out for. A lot of wide receivers, a lot of guys coming up. He'll be watching as an owner of the Green Bay Packers. So will we here at Citrus TV. But that's all the time we have on this No Pulp webisode. Thanks so much for tuning in and enjoy the full show.